Okay. The feed's up, but they can't hear you yet. Still live though, it's just right now people are zooming in. Yeah, I see. The screen's supposed to be reversed. Normally that screen's down here. My tech guy was moving some stuff around. I don't know if you can see it. Because she had a septum ring. Yes. <laughs> and Maggie, if you want to, you can put this chair right there where you're standing. So when you're filling her in, you can sit if you want. Yes. You want to do that? Yeah. There you are. That'll right, be better. You guys ready? Yes. So excited. Hey guys, this is John, the Billionaire Bellavia here with Life of a Billionaire. Before we start this awesome podcast we got set up today, I want to thank our sponsors. As always, Jason's Auto Repair. Go to jasonsautocny.com. Jason has been a studio sponsor for a couple years now, and he is uh, just such a great guy. Great shop. Uh, do make an appointment to go there, though. But you can call 315-944-3700. And check out our people at CJ's Property Service. Uh, loyal sign client of mine for 10 years, and now guess what? He's now our sponsor. He loves what we do. We've uh, set up a Facebook page for him, so go on there on Facebook. Look for CJ's Property Service. Give him a like. Give him a love. Tell him how much you love the shows that we have here on the network. And, guys, uh, we've got a great show. If you're looking at the feed right now, um, I've got a good friend of mine, Melanie. She's uh, been doing face painting for a long time. Uh, she's done definitely a bunch of events with us over the years uh, between the parties and everything else. She's My kid's my favorite part. She's done zombies on my kids. She's also done Ninja Turtle zombies on my kids. And it was friggin' awesome. I absolutely love it. Uh, welcome to the show, guys. Thanks. What's why don't, up? Why don't I have you guys uh, all introduce yourselves? Yeah, fully. Well, 
Like John said, my name is Melody. I own a company called The Face Paint Lady, um, which is mainly children's entertainment. But I also do a lot of adult work like body painting, um, and zombie runs, special effects makeup for movies and commercials and things like that. This is Maggie. Maggie's been working with me for, God, five or six years now. She's my, my number one assistant and my beautiful model, the lovely Miss Hannah, who I've known for since she five was, years. yeah, a really long five time. So she's really excited to be here today because she has always wanted me to body paint her. So this is a really fun opportunity for her. Oh, yeah. So what do you, uh, so first of all, you're, you're 19, right? Yes. Okay, we have to make sure you're legal here in the studio. <laughs> uh, and for Facebook, uh, she is wearing pasties, so you don't, don't. Can't get us in trouble for that. We're legal over here. <laughs> so, how long do you think this uh, this is gonna take? Roughly, how, I mean, I know you're doing a kind of a simpler one for us. We're doing a quick job to try to keep it in your your show per parameters there. Um, but a, a corset like this one could take between one to three hours, depending on the detail that's requested. Um, we've had clients ask for very specific ones that look like Santa Claus with furry trim, things that might take a little bit longer. <laughs> Um, and, and stuff like that. But generally, you know, one to three hours. We move them pretty quick, though. And I have an assistant with me today. Like I said, Maggie, she's going to help me bang it out pretty quick. So probably about an hour. Awesome. I can't wait to we see how this unfolds. Um, let me ask you, how long have you been in this business? Because I know, I mean, I've known you for quite a few years. And You've you were... known me, I think, six or seven years. I started about ten years ago. I volunteered to do some face painting for a kid's soccer event. And everyone just loved it. And I loved it. And it just kind of became a thing pretty quickly. Um, so yeah, about about two, we'll be going on ten years now, right, Mac? Yeah. Yeah. So in in the past ten years, is it mostly been like uh, children's parties, uh, setting up for certain events, or? I mean, children's parties where that's where that's my cash cow. That's that's where it's you know it's a business. That's where the money is. Um, but we've done all sorts of uh, other events aside from kids parties and and kids based festivals, um, like zombie runs and movies and um, I don't know if you saw. What was it? Uh, Officer Pigsley was a little. Oh, I film. did. I did the makeup for that. We did uh, Briarwood. I th think which won a, a f an award here recently um, at the palace. I did the makeup for that. So, you know, pretty much anything we can get our hands on where we're creating art on a human, we will do it. Mm. Reload. What's the craziest thing you've done? What is the craziest thing we've ever? Well, we had to do a full body Hulk on a guy that didn't have abs. That was pretty challenging. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. Um, we've done zombie weddings. That was pretty crazy. Um, whole bridal parties and zombie. Um, I don't know. What's the craziest thing, Mag? Oh, we used to do an event down at Twin Trees. I was just thinking about that. Yep, where they had a bunch of models. We did a chrome angel there once, all done in liquid silver. Wow, that was beautiful, wasn't it? Uh -huh. I yeah. remember uh, one of my Halloween parties. You Ooh. took my friend's pregnant belly and had a baby crawling out of it. Yeah, that uh, Jessica Sparrow. Yes. We did. We actually cut the face off a of baby doll right there in that bar. What bar was that, John? Bourbon Street. Yes, that... down at Bourbon Street. We cut the face off a of baby doll there. I had to borrow a knife from the bartender. Shout out to Bourbon Street. They closed their doors Saturday permanently this week. And oh, it's, no. uh, it's now going to be a bottle return. Oh, well, I mean, <laughs> Same owner. is good. Oh, for sure. But, uh, <laughs> yeah, we, we glued it on her belly with liquid latex. You might be able to find that... Uh, that picture on one of your Facebook pages, John, I think you had it up there for a while, didn't you? Actually, i just seen it today on it's your on Facebook page. It's on the FPL page, page yeah. yeah. Spritz, thank you, ma'am. Guys at home, my, my screen monitoring is different, so don't think I'm ignoring uh, what's going on. My my two monitors are on opposite sides, which is uh, weird for me, so you know, I can't see what I'm doing. <laughs> Um, I think we did a girl, the last one we did, we did a girl uh, painted as Where's Waldo, and she had the t-shirt, you know, oh, the striped yep. t-shirt, and was, she went that. out and she won every Halloween costume contest she entered with a body so awesome. painted thing. Um, there you go. Um, prop building, too. We do, yeah, anything where you're making art, Halloween's kind of a big thing for us. We like to do, you know, big, big setup costumes and costume fabrication and prop fabrication to go with the makeup and... We really get into it. All right, you want to turn back back over this way so they can. There we go. All right, perfect. I'll get the back. It's going great. Look, we're it's going really, fast yeah, already. We're really cooking it out here. Spritz. Thank you, ma'am. Oh, I need a spritzer in my life. Just That's just right. someone to you know, scalpel. Like a cocktail spritzer? Or it, it all works. <laughs> <laughs> it all works. Trust me. <laughs> now I'm gonna go have a couple cocktails after this myself. I don't blame you. There uh, we go. Where are you going to get your cocktails? Uh, you know, I collect vintage barware, so I have a really pretty little vintage bar set up at home. Oh, cool. Yeah, so I, I got a little home bar as well. Stuff. Yeah, lift. Thank you, ma'am. 
Body painting is really fun, though. We've done, you know, we do a lot of pregnant bellies. That's a, a thing that you had also mentioned. Um, but it also is fun to do, uh, you know, we'll work with different for local photographers in the area. Um, and we do, like, photo shoot and body paint packages, which makes a really nice gift for significant others or treat yourself or dirty 30 parties or all kinds of fun stuff. So hmm. it's really a... Uh, now, really very versatile. Has yeah. she, have you ever been painted on before? Is this your first time? No, this is my first, yeah. This is like my first time. Now, have you? Have and I've you, known her for five years and just never got to never it. Got to it. Now, have you ever done any modeling or? Yeah, okay. I, I have done modeling before, but not like this. <laughs> so this is cool. Mm -hmm. Hannah's actually an amazing singer. She uh, is going to SU on a singing scholarship, which is pretty incredible. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah, pretty incredible. Now, what kind of music do you sing? Classical. Really? Mostly in opera. That's what I'm studying. C can you do some of that while you're getting uh, this right now? <gasps> oh my gosh! How great! Do that. It's a lot of pressure. Oh come on, you can do it. How great you know, would it just be? Just throw a couple of notes. We'll just give us a couple of bars I'll, of something. I'll, I'll think about it. All right, all right. <laughs> I think that would be awesome. That would be amazing. You should do that. I mean, how cool would that be? Right. I'm gonna tweet this out, guys, here at our studio. Uh, page uh some photos of what's going on today if you uh, are listening if you're on the 315 live app and it's audio only and you want to see this go to billionaire studios on twitter uh facebook youtube twitch all that and you can see what's going on in the studio listen thank you dear doing great all righty <laughs> all right let's take a look looking good we'll even her out right here she's a little bit light in here um and then you see the back just give us a little it's looking good, Han. It's looking oh. awesome. You're a good model. Excuse Thank me. Thank you. <laughs> uh, this feels nice. Yeah, it's very refreshing, it's, I've been told. It's, it's relaxing. It's cooling and it's very soothing. Yeah, it feels good. Yep. There you go. I can tell how fast you guys are going. Yeah. So well, we've been doing it for a while. You tend to get for sure. Yeah. So if someone wants to get something done like this, how how much in advance will they have to set up with you in order to get this done? I mean. Based on just my personal availability with everything I'm doing, you know, I've got the face paint lady, I'm doing all the kids' parties, and I do the effect makeup and all that, and then I have my charity group that we'll talk about, I believe, another time. Um, I am pretty busy, so you do want to try to book out as early as possible. Generally, we book out two to six weeks in advance. Oh, wow. Um, but the earlier you get in there, the earlier you can get your date reserved. Um, how, how crazy is your Halloween though? Cause I mean, even when I, oh I remember man. bringing the kids when oh they man. weren't teenagers and there'd be <laughs> 20 people waiting to get done. And I'm just like, how is she doing this? It's, yeah, we usually cry at the end, but it's, <laughs> it's pretty satisfying. Um, I do miss enjoying Halloween and not working on Halloween, but for sure. when you when you do what you love for a living, it's kind of hard to not really enjoy. You know what I mean? It's It still makes it fun. I wish my kids were still uh, into still the into whole... It. They don't yeah. do costumes no more. No. I, I Honestly, I think I enjoyed it more than anything. And I'm like, hey guys, you want to get your face painted? And he's like, dad, I'm old now. I'm, I'm not a kid. Which he yeah, is a kid. He's boys, 15. Boys, we start but... losing them you know, around <laughs> 9 or 10. So I was surprised that we had yours as long as we did. I think I've worked on them a couple times. Yeah, so. you kidding me? I still want to get my face painted. I think it's cool. <laughs> 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 we should do something right on your right on your dome there. You did a breast cancer ribbon at we a benefit did on the we did. Ribbon. Yeah, it was beautiful. Yeah, with the pink and the. That's when know. I burned my face with face dye because I didn't realize how to do it. Yeah. <laughs> it was yeah, when you did your beard, the pink. When I shaved it boobies. off, it was literally there for three weeks. Oh. It was a burn though. It wasn't even a dye. It was the burn from the bleach. <laughs> yeah, I don't know what I'm doing at all. <laughs> so normally on a model. Um, it's up to them whether or not they want to wear like the nipple covers or any kind of privacy cover like that. Um, here for legality, of course, we have to have everything nice and legal um, <laughs> and covered. But generally, you know, you'll see like a little bit of wrinkling around. On those aren't usually there. Yeah, but um, like I said, with Facebook like and all photos, that. Yeah, we have to have it. So it's obviously not naked trust mm -hmm. me i would have enjoyed it just as much but you know what, what can you do <laughs> <laughs> i guess <laughs> all right i'll take a number three or a number six round in the dark green thank you and uh thank you again yes. there you are so uh, your assistant's been with you for what five years you said yeah maggie's been with me i think five years now and she was my very first ever employee mm -hmm. Because I've met her. She she did. She was with you at uh, one of the parties you did for oh, us. Yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah. She's she's everywhere. She's she's really out and about working more than I am these days, doing the face painting and stuff. Everyone just loves her. People ask for her by name when we get requests. She's. I mean, it's a fun business loved. too. It is obviously. a fun business to be in. The best job I've ever had. Really? Yeah. That's <laughs> awesome. And it's so funny. And actually, Hannah here was one of my first employees too. 
And I always tell the girls, I'm like, listen, this is not the real world. Your real employers and your real jobs are not going to treat you like this. It's not going to be the same. Oh, definitely um, not. It's very much a family setting with, with these these young ladies and gentlemen that work with us. You know, we become very close-knit little family of artists that work together, uh, you know, just to kind of bring smiles to the community and try to pay some bills. It works out pretty good. Now, have you done... Um I mean, you do a lot of benefits. I know I see that a oh, lot. Gosh, yes. um, so have many. you been hired for like corporate retreats or anything like that where you just go and do just unlimited amounts? Of- oh, yeah. We do all kinds of corporate events um, for bigger names. We do Pepsi. We do a lot of the law offices in town, um, big corporations, Burn Dairy. We do Tops. We opened one, two, we opened six Tops grocery stores. We did the openings for Kinney's, too. Kinney oh, Drugs. That is awesome. yeah, yeah, we do a lot of the. The big local companies here that are doing grand opening. Salve Bank is another one we work with a lot. Turn, honey. Thank you so Thank much. You. I'm just going to outline this now. I'm going to have Maggie lay down some texture. We're going to use a stencil on this today just to speed the process up. Um, generally, we try to hand paint everything, but for a little bit of texture, I think a stencil is okay to cheat this What time. got you into wanting to do the body painting? You know, it's... I'm an artist anyway. And the body makes such a fascinating canvas because it's challenging to work on a surface that's not flat, but it's also inspiring to be able to work with natural curves and oh, natural sure. lines of a, of, a, of a human body. And it's, it's really quite beautiful. Lift up, honey. Thank you. And at the end of it all, you know, you've got this corset or this t-shirt or whatever the girl asked for painted on and they look in the mirror and they're like, oh my God, I look so beautiful. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And it's really amazing to be able um, to make somebody feel that way. I mean, I think it's one of the coolest things. I remember going to a, a bar opening and all the bartenders had different outfits on, but I didn't know until about maybe two hours in. That they were painted. Yeah. Well, like one of them was a friend of mine. She went to give me a hug and I'm like, whoa, wait a minute. Because you, you don't you don't realize when you look at them fast. I mean, you just, it just yep. looks yep. like they're wearing clothes. Yeah. And then I'm like, this is the coolest thing ever. And this was like years ago. Yep. And I've always thought it was cool. You've done a lot of my friends that are models uh, body paints over the years as yep. well. Yep. I, I get I get a little personal whenever I see it. I'm like, hey, who'd you go to? Like, is that my girl? You better be going to the right place. A hundred percent. That's funny. Oh, I appreciate that. I do. I do. That turn. Great. So, uh, how, what was your name again, dear? Hannah. Hannah. Uh, so, how long have you been modeling? Um, I mean, my best friend is a photographer. So I was younger when we started taking pictures, but like I, I would say probably like fourteen. So maybe like five years. I've been like. And what kind of modeling were you doing? Dabbling. Just going places and taking pictures. Really. Portfolio work yeah, portfolio mostly work. for him, yeah. Nice. Now, are you doing, uh, what, what kind of stuff are you doing now, though, as far as? Uh... Yes. <laughs> yeah. I, it's not like I, I don't have time to be doing anything. Any, uh, I'm in college, you know. Um, and he's away. He's at gotcha. photography school down in, in uh, per, at Purchase. We're going to get you to do opera at some point today, I feel like. <laughs> I'm so excited about that. <laughs> Yeah, let's do it in a dark green. Do a, a very dry blend on that and go ahead and use the... That's the one I was thinking, too. This That'll one? be a really nice texture. Yeah, that was the one I had in mind. Yep, earlier. I would do a dark green, but let's do a very, very dry blend on that because yeah. otherwise you're going to end up with something crazy happening. I'll start working on her rivets. Cool. And with a corset, uh, so you're going to do the, the, the strings going back and forth on a corset, right? Yeah, we're right? going to do a drop shadow under them so it looks really 3D. Does that look dry enough? I'm thinking. No. No? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, just do it lightly. Yeah, she's got to have all the little lacing and the strings and the rivets in the back. This way, this way. Um, and then if you look on the FPL body art website, you'll see a couple courses that were painted that have uh, like close-ups of the now, rivets. I'll He's tweet that out, guys. Normally, I'd put it on the screen, but again, I, my tech guy was here and he reversed our feed, so uh, I, I can't do it today. But I'll uh, I'll put everything out there afterwards. It's cool watching both you guys work at the same time. Thanks. Here, I'm going to have you turn a little bit more this way, if that's all right. Okay. Yeah, it's a lot of fun, and, you know, it's it's empowering for the female who's being painted, if it's a female at the time. Mm-hmm. Um, they've always told me that it was a very empowering experience, and it made them feel very free, very attractive, and it's, it's nice. It's nice to be able to make people feel that way. I mean, this would be cool for, like, a, a Valentine's package for your husband Absolutely. or your wife yeah, to do something cool. Yeah, it does make cool. a fantastic gift. It really does. Uh, if your husband or you have, you know, a significant other who's a football fan, we could paint a football jersey on you. One, two, three, four, five, six. Um, or anything that fits. We, any, any kind of theme you have, really. We're pretty creative and we can figure it out. We chose a corset for this show because it's something we do a lot of and it's quick. It's easy. 
something that wouldn't hold you up too much for your show. It's it's so funny that I didn't realize that the mannequin behind me had no top on. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> normally normally we use Studio uh, B and this is Studio A, so this we just threw it in here from the last job. And uh, I just happened to look behind me, and I was like, how ironic. That's funny. <laughs> I should have had you paint that, too. Like, you yeah, know what? Just, just do it all up. <laughs> doing, like, double body painting here, real model and plastic. That's so funny. That's hilarious. <laughs> What's your uh, mannequin's name there? Well, we have a lot of mannequins, actually, uh, in the studio. This one's uh, Mrs. Bones, because she's married to Bones, the skeleton. Oh, yeah, she's yeah. Mrs. Bones. Yeah, it's Mrs. Bones. She's usually wearing her shirt. I don't know why she doesn't have a shirt on. Somebody must have stole it. Uh, no, <laughs> a lot of times the guests will take the shirts home with them after the show. <laughs> ah. Ugh, looking good. Now, how easy is it to clean this off afterwards? It's relatively easy. The the green, if you're very, very fair skinned, the green might, the pigment might last a little bit, but it washes <laughs> off. Just hop in the shower. If you get it wet, um, it'll wash right off. So a lot of times if we're doing an event where it's for like a stage show where they'll be very sweaty, or if they're doing, you know, a party like where they're going to be in a crowd, there's a, a sealant that we can put on it that'll keep it from I got a crazy running. idea. We should commission you to take this mannequin... <laughs> put a corset on there with the word Spellioner Studios on it somewhere, awesome. and logo. then just not put a shirt on it at all. There you go. It'd I think be, that would be, be awesome. Done. You know, it'd be permanently dressed. You'd never have to worry about it again. I think that would be so cool. <laughs> Let's plan it. Yeah, I'm, I'm very serious. And we'll leave it up here. We'll put your name all over it, and we'll leave it. Just It'll be the only mannequin out of the six we have with no shirt. That sounds cool, but Oh, that is so awesome. <laughs> A lot of people checking in on Facebook, guys. Do me a favor. Give it a share. Give it a like. Check out our sponsors. But um, most importantly, share the feed. I, whether it's YouTube, Twitch, Periscope, wherever you're hearing this or watching this, give it a share so everyone else can see this amazing stuff. We're shaking our mag. I'm oh, sorry. Mm. It's okay. I need um, some more paint. Yeah, here you are. Careful, it's wet. Yes, thank you. You're very welcome. See how well we work together. Oh. You guys really do work well together. Mm. She's one of my best friends. That's awesome. So sweet. Now, do you guys still do, like, uh, do you still have Aladdin with you and all those guys? Oh, yeah. We still have characters and stuff that come out. We did um, the Glitter Gala recently. I don't know if you saw. Um, it's a benefit event for Golisano. We raised over $20,000 at that event for Golisano. Well, the event did. We were part of it. Mm -hmm. um, we provide the characters for the performances and other charities and visits to sick children in the hospital if they want we'll go in there and send some characters and to cheer them up it's a lot of fun that is so awesome yeah i, I wish i knew someone that did this when i was a kid really? when, when i was a kid they did like a bunny yeah a, a little simple face thing they didn't i've never seen nothing this uh this cool when i was younger yeah birthday parties when i was a kid weren't this cool either you know you get maybe a some popcorn and some peanuts yeah. and <laughs> get to throw a balloon around in the yard and that's about it but nowadays I mean, no traveling. party like a face paint party, let me tell you. <laughs> yeah. We rock it out. People checking out online. This reminds me of every time I go to Times Square. I agree. I love the part of Times Square where they scam you for a dollar. But uh, <laughs> 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 but it's so cool to be able to see all this stuff. I, I've always been such a fan. Uh, well, a lot of people checking in on Facebook. Patty says, love Mel. Hey, Patty. Is that Patty Smith? Patty uh, from Nip Pickers. Oh, oh, my love, yeah. Patty Tatolo. Who's also a sponsor on the network, uh, Health and Beauty from Head to Booty, every Thursday at 7 p.m. with January Jade. Uh, that is amazing. Chet says, if you want to paint my shitty body, I'm available. Yeah. <laughs> hey, we can uh, airbrush in a six-pack for you, buddy. Make you look, uh, you know, get the nice... That's awesome. Nice tight muscles going on there. <laughs> Tamara says, uh, this is awesome. Uh, Cassandra, well, another one of our reg recurring guests here at the uh, studio. I need this in my life. Cassandra, I think you would look awesome painted up. Let's do it, Cassandra. We should, uh, maybe, you know what we should do is host uh, maybe a nice cool paint party. We'll do some uh, studio photography or something. Bring in a couple more artists. Let's have Hannah do a really quick spin around so we can see how far we've gotten here. That is awesome. So we just did the lacing. So we have to make the drop shadows and highlights to make this look like not paint. But this is this is what we've got so far. And you want to go ahead and show the front, which is right, the camera's right there. So we're putting some texture on the front to make it look like a jacquard, like a brocaded fabric um, that this course is made out of. Maggie, you're doing a really good job on that. So Looks I'm going to let awesome. you keep going on that. I'm going to keep going on the back. Yay. How long will this last on her after... Uh... Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'd like to know. As long as she doesn't get it wet, it'll stay there as long as she keeps it. Heck. If you get it wet, though, it's over because we're not putting sealant on it today. Show up to finals. Yeah. Oh, my God. <laughs> roll in there. Be like, hey, professor. Hey. Dan Smith's checking in. Says, uh, need a big bald guy for anything? I'm right here, dude. Uh, no. <laughs> 
uh, and Cassandra said, yes, paint party. Maybe we should set something up. Maybe we uh, should grab some of the girls that usually come on the studio and uh, some of your regulars. Some of our regulars and we'll treat them to a body painting. I you know, think if they're, that, they're there for you, then they definitely deserve it. I think know? that would be awesome. Something we could do yeah, in the yeah. big studio and uh, we can go live throughout the whole thing. I think that would be awesome. I do too. Uh, Planet. From Nick the Sullivan, uh, John Leonard Bellavia, next show you attend that I'm wrestling, do your full body paint to distract my opponent. Nick is one of the top coming uh, wrestlers here in upstate New York. Oh, cool. He's an amazing uh, person, a great athlete, and he's also a great guest for the show. And I, I, I wonder how I would look painted up. What would I, I would have to shave my upper body, wouldn't I? Yeah. I've already yeah. got tattoos, though. You'd have to cover those up. And or we could work with him, work around him. I don't know, Nick. We'll talk about it. It's not going to happen. Um, <laughs> uh, Zach Hyde says, uh, don't get it wet then. <laughs> yeah, yeah, don't get it wet. And now, But the, it'll be dry when she's done. She can wear it's clothes over now. it. Look at your hand. Lift up. Oh, oh that's my awesome. Gosh, you're yeah, so right. already. That is so cool. Wow. Yeah. That's crazy. So if she were doing a stage show or, you know, um, like bartending, when we do that event at Twin Trees or anything like that, you can answer that hand. Um it's, it's ready to go as soon as she's painted. She can walk right out the door. This is so cool. Uh, yeah, I, I, I mean, I, I've never actually seen you put the body paint on like this. I've seen you done, you know, faces and all that. You've seen me do faces, yeah. It's the same kind of thing, though. Now, you're big with, uh, like, uh, doing the gore and stuff, too. Like. Yeah, I'm a big... We're, we, we like the gore. Mm -hmm. So how do you get into that? Because that's a lot more, like, latexy type stuff. A lot and... of latex, a lot of prefabrication. A lot. Of, we have a little... Uh, we call it the home zombie kitchen as we're getting ready for... October, we start making our little prosthetics and our zombie pieces, and Maggie and I work together on those with uh, some friends and get them ready. And it's used, there's a lot more materials, a lot than, more than just paint. You really do have a fun business that you're I a part really, of. I really, really do. And you've yeah. got a lot of reoccurring uh, customers, I'm, I'm assuming, they, every year. Oh, yeah. yeah, we have a yeah. lot of regulars. Um, but they know. You know. They know that we'll, we'll be there for them. They know we'll do a great job for them. They know we'll give them a great deal. Yeah, so... We're personal. We try to take good care of our people. Uh, <laughs> Patty said maybe Mel could paint hair on you. <laughs> That's actually a great idea. If you could do like wavy locks somehow. Yeah, and we, you know, we can make it look like a little shiny uh, like toupee type thing. Like really jazz it up and make it funny. And January says uh, in reply to that, uh, we could paint some little lice on it and knits too. <laughs> and then uh, Patty, <laughs> they call Patty be like, help. Um, okay, Michael says, uh, what's the longest amount of time that you had to paint for? Five hours. Um, well, on one piece or in general? Is this who is it, Mike? Yeah. Hi, um, Mike. I'm assuming he means prop. Maybe maybe on one piece because I mean, if, if you're doing multiple people, you kind of get that little break in between, right? Right. So on one piece, we did five and a half hours doing a pinstripe suit. Oh, and that is that also the one that's on your page? Yep. And guys, I'll put her page up there, and uh, so you guys can all follow that shortly. Yeah, and that was a tribute to Doctor Who. It was David Tennant's suit um, that we did on the model. The model's name was uh, Casey. Chetwin. Kay's really, really, really cool. Kay's a wonderful human. You should definitely uh, check Kay out. There we go. This is looking really good. I can't wait to turn it around and show it. It's all look. I mean, I, I got the perfect view because I can see both sides getting worked on right now. Yeah. I should probably grab some more of these pictures because uh, I'm definitely going to want to put these out on social media. All right, I'm going to need to blend. That looks really good. A little shaky because you're getting wiggles from the front. Mm -hmm. Sorry. That's okay. This is because we only have an hour, so we have to do both sides at the same time. Sometimes she's getting a little, a little moved by the. January wants to know if you charge by the inch or uh, do you charge by the square inch? We charge by the hour, actually. Mm -hmm. By the hour, that makes more sense. Yeah, and then we kind of try to estimate how long something will take based on the amount of detail that you want for it, because we know what we can do and how quick we can do it. You know, and sometimes you would think, oh, let's just do this one really quick thing, and that, that's not actually a really quick thing at all, or vice versa. So, yeah, a full, full, full pinstripe suit, five hours, looking at about 600 bucks. Now, Bill, uh, Bill Woodcock says, do you charge more for guys our size? And I'm assuming, yeah, because it's a bigger surface to go around. No, we charge by the hour. Well, well I mean, it's more time to put it on, I would say. Might be. Might be, sure, depending it on what depends. you get. Yeah, it just really depends. I mean, we did, at Rochester Erotic Art Festival, I had a... Nice big stout fella asked me to do just a pinstriped suit illusion just on the front of him. I think we banged that out in what, 20, 30 minutes, Mag, remember? Yeah. So it just it just kind of depends. It depends on how how still the model stands. It depends on how sober or not the model is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. sure. It depends on a lot of different factors, okay? 
Um, yeah, but always hourly, and we just try to move as quick as we can. Hourly rates can get scary because, you know, when you hear, like, mechanic, oh, it's like 75 an hour. Like, oh, but you're going to take so long. And we try to make it as quick as possible. We don't want these girls standing here getting tired or hungry or dizzy or anything. Can I get the model to look at me? I want a selfie of this. <gasps> of course. That's awesome. <laughs> <laughs> Great questions coming in, guys, by the way. I appreciate everything you're sending in. You'll give it up for the model. She's being a champ. Yes, she is. She's doing a great job. John has a perfect view, and his hands are out of sight. Hey, man. Hey, man. <laughs> that's uh, inappropriate. That's what this studio is all about. Yeah, uh, baby. <laughs> Mel does uh, Princess Parties too. Got to give it to my girl and a plug. Yes. Oh, uh, who's awesome. that? That's from Patty. Yeah, I do Princess Parties too um, for birthdays and stuff. We, do, we like to, to make it as special as possible for the children that we're working with. Mm -hmm. What's the farthest you've traveled to do this? Oh, gosh. We've been all called out to Elmira, Binghamton. Buffalo, uh, Albany, all um, Binghamton. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we they, they call us in from places. We charge a travel fee if it's really far. So a lot of times we don't go out to like places like the big city where we have to charge them $400 just in travel to get us sure. there, you know. Uh, um, but we do. They call us in from all over. Benjamin uh, from Bubba Army says, uh, hashtag me tatas. <laughs> <laughs> yup. Sweet tatas. I need that lime green mag. Yes. Thank you so much. Guys, again, I want to take a minute to thank Jason's Auto Repair. Jason's Auto mm -hmm. uh, I will be there tomorrow, actually. They are uh, re signing their contract here with the studio and uh, potentially awesome. buying us a new DSLR camera for the studio. So that's awesome. Love Jason's Auto and Katie that uh, runs the front desk. And CJ's Property Service. Guys, listen, they literally do everything. Property Service. Most people put a list of, you know, plumbing, this, no, everything. They have a huge company. With, they're here and in there in Florida, multi state. If you have a job that you need done, you contact That's them, and they yours. will get it done. It's a great friend of ours and a good right. client for many, many years. Uh, yeah. I got some stuff that needs done at my house. We own our house. I bought a house on face paint money, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah. Um, Did you? So you moved out of the place you were at? Uh, when's the last time? Have you it's been, been a couple house? years. Yeah, I bought a house uh, three years ago. Yeah, wow, has it been that long? Yep, yeah, on, on face paint money, but it's definitely. Being a homeowner is not all it's cracked up to be, people. I think I need, what's his name, John? Mm -hmm. Come help me out with a few things. What's his name? The CJ's. Guy? CJ's. CJ's, yeah, yes. you're John. Um, uh, yeah, I'm John. <laughs> Homeowning's fun, but it's a lot of work. I own my home too, and yeah. I've always—I mean, I've always had a home that I've owned, you know, over the years. But I'm also in the rental business, so and my parents are majorly in the rental business, and it's hard to rent to people. People yeah. do not oh, care. Yeah. It seems like every time they leave, uh, I have to remodel the whole damn place. Oh. Uh, <laughs> sucks. Zach says inappropriate. Go home, bro. They're pros. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Nathan says, uh, that's my girlfriend, and I'm ready to kick some ass. You better watch out. Aww. <laughs> hey, Nate. Nate's a sweetheart and such a cutie patootie also. That's hilarious. I'm going to give that a ha-ha. Yeah, he's the best. <laughs> yeah, he's a, good, he's a good kid, man. Nate really is. A good is. noodle. January wants to know, uh, do you guys add glitter and rhinestones to oh. certain ones? Honey, do you not know me at all? <laughs> <laughs> Look, you, it's hard to escape my uh, my chair without glitter and rhinestones. Okay, Yes, we do. We have all sorts of glitters and and uh, gems that we can put on, like if we do like the 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 Dio de los, the sugar skulls. Right? Oh yeah, those are Martos. popular. We glue all the gems around the eyes and everything on those, and if they wanted gems, or we could glue on like lace trim, real sure. lace trim, or other oh, ribbons yeah. and things like that to make everything. Now, is really the glitter like regular glitter? No. Okay, no, good, because no, no. we we had to start banning that after Wednesday's bullshit and beer show. We uh. started bringing on the adult performers. No more glitter in the we, studio. Um, we won't use any glitter in your studio today. Good. The glitter that we use is a very special, it costs almost $100 a pound, um, and I do buy it by the pound. I mean, it's a cosmetic grade polyester hex cut. It's the tiniest possible cut. So you could like rub it in your eye and it won't cut your eye. If you go to like the craft store and get like some Martha Stewart glitter, which is great for crafts, that's made of crushed glass. You really can't put that on someone's skin. You oh, be, I never even realized you have, that. You yeah. have to be very careful about the type of products that you're putting on somebody's skin. Um, one, to not void out my insurance. Uh -huh. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but also to, you know, prevent allergic reactions. Pe I've seen people use craft paints um, that contain nickel and lead and other heavy metals. Um, that can cause damage to the skin and the cells underneath. You remember it, so. the original uh, uh, Golden Eye, 007? Yeah, and they had to do the patch. The, no, they did. They painted her in gold latex paint, and she passed out because yep. it wasn't. Her pores were were sealed up oh, completely. They left a patch bare underneath her bottom that was mm -hmm. supposed to let enough oxygen through her skin, and it didn't. How crazy yeah. is that, yeah. though? And you do. You have to be really, really careful and. 
you know, I have a $3 million insurance policy and I use the best possible quality makeup because of, you know, I've seen children mostly come into my booth at a fair with some other painter putting, you know, Qualitex or whatever with that craft paint, what's it called? Liquitex on their face yeah. and they've got a blistering rash on their face shaped mm. like a ladybug and they're crying. You can't. You can't just put whatever on somebody's skin. It's not safe. Please don't do it. If you need any information, call me. I won't try to force you to book me. I'll just help you out. Like, don't, please don't. Please don't poison anybody with paint. Mm. Um, uh, Mike uh, uh, said, what's up, John? Uh, was going to post a WTF post, but this is way better. Mike puts uh, at the Bellinger Studios Network Facebook page. He, uh, he does a lot of the crazy stories, but I like that he likes this. January wants to know, uh, I wanted her to use glitter so it could get everywhere for Mike. Big Mike uh, here at the studio hates glitter as much as I do, but he really hates it. <laughs> <laughs> How much Maybe we'll mail him a special package. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I don't even know if I should read Zach's. It's a little inappropriate, but it is hilarious. Um, so I'm going to skip that. You guys can watch it, read it in the comments. I will. <laughs> <laughs> it's actually a good question, too, but, you know. Got to keep it somewhat uh, PC in here. I mean, just a little, you know. Yeah. <laughs> uh, uh, so what's messed up is I was thinking about that Bond movie uh, and the girls with the paint. Yeah, I remember yeah. when I heard that. It was a crazy story. What movie? So Goldeneye, the original 007. Uh, James Bond. F yeah, from like maybe the 70s, I think. They painted her with just like legit paint and her sealed up all her pores and she couldn't breathe and passed uh, out. How crazy is that, though? That's crazy. So yeah, this will never do that. This is water-based. It's so Looking cool. Looking really good in the back. Oh, you, really, you look. You really kind of look good. like a poison ivy with the red hair That's in the, the green. That's the vibe I'm always trying to have. Really? Yeah. <laughs> That's poison awesome. ivy all the See, way. See, that'd be cute. So for Halloween, we could paint a corset like this, and we could fabricate a skirt out of floral leafery yeah. that goes around almost like an, like an Adam and Eve tile, you know, style little thing Ugh. to cover you up. You know, and it is. It's fun. You can use body painting for any kind of occasion, but Halloween definitely. You'll win every contest you're in if you're going there body painted. Oh, and it was Goldfinger. He's right. Mike just corrected me. It was Goldfinger, not Golden Eye. Uh, and he also wants to know what's the worst body paint experience you've ever had to you've ever experienced doing this. The worst body paint experience I had. I did have one model who was very nervous um, about being painted topless, and she showed up. It was eleven o'clock in the morning, and she must have already drank half a bottle of vodka. Oh, um, oh my by the god! Time she had gotten there, and she couldn't. She was swaying back and forth, and she couldn't stand still. And she had, um, you know, what a gin blossom is like. Uh -huh. So in all of her photos. Of this body paint, and it was a collaboration. I wasn't even getting paid. It was a collaboration. So, in all the photos I was hoping to use to promote my body painting, she had a gin blossom and she had this bright red nose in all the <laughs> pictures. And it was so hard to keep her line straight because she was so intoxicated. Yeah. Um, it wasn't too bad. I've never had a really bad experience with it, I don't think. But that was definitely a challenging one. Well, let me ask you this. And I know I've asked this to anybody that works really close with skin and contact. Mm -hmm. You ever had anyone that just, like, stunk <laughs> like a hundred percent right because i get one time i had to put makeup on jake Busey. oh i know jake yeah okay, you know jake Busey, and jake Busey had something on his face right here okay and he came up to me i was doing a like scare con or whatever and we had uh i had all my zombie makeup laid out so he, he was looking for beauty makeup and he called me by name he said melody <laughs> and i said what jake Busey?" and that's all i call, I call him jake Busey. never by his first name always jake Busey. i said what jake Busey?" he's like can you help me cover this on my face i don't know what it was but it was definitely I threw away my makeup brush after that. Yeah, that's no. funny. That was, that was kind of a weird thing I had to do makeup-wise on somebody, on a celebrity. Um, we've uh, we've done a lot of work for his cousin that has the sausage castle down in Florida. Oh, yeah? Yeah, yeah. Lady Luna, one of our recurring guests. Uh, oh, how fun. Porn star, adult actress, all that. Uh, used to do a show here, and uh, we used to do a lot of fun stuff for them. <laughs> awesome. Yeah, well, he's a good time. Um, what else have we done? We did makeup on... Kylie Szymanski, she was a little girl in The Walking Dead. She played the girl in the closet, Penny, the governor's daughter. Oh, that's cool. We got to do zombie makeup on her. That was real fun. You guys probably do a lot of the scare cons and a lot of the conventions. Um, we used to do a lot more of them. I don't like vending as much anymore because I have so many regulars that depend on me for their events that I'm turning down contracted pay for vending, and vending's kind of risky. You know, you pay the booth fee, and if you sell the paintings, you sell the paintings, and if you don't, you don't. Sure. So I don't vend as often as I used to, um, but we do like to attend them more now just for fun. Um, oh, this is looking good. You want to spin around and show the detail with the 3D? Oh, look how it really looks so close. Wow. I don't know if you can see it. Let me get a photo of that real quick. Yeah. I'm going to need a little more highlights. Selfie cam off. Mm -hmm. You're doing good. 
Awesome. I'm going to go ahead and start shading underneath your front, and Maggie's going to texture out your back, okay? Wonderful. Wonderful. I like this how the nice texture is kind of like a faded texture. It looks cool. Yep. Yeah. It almost looks like a jacquard, like a fabric. Yeah, yeah, 100%. Mm -hmm. okay. So yeah. we're just doing a really light wash of, like, watered down black. I don't know if you can see. It's a really watered down just to make, like, a shadow. Otherwise, it just looks like a harsh outline. I don't know if you can see it's the very faded yep. at least in, per in person it looks that way yeah it needs to really blend into the skin so it looks like a shadow it's fun oh, and cool. look at how she's posing up you can tell she's already f getting this newfound confidence Ooh. and she's feeling <laughs> very beautiful and you know she's doing something kind of fun and kind of sexy and a little risque without being too you know so she's really you can tell you can tell like you can see it coming out as the show progresses <laughs> zach says that looks so real it really does even in person it looks so real Nope. And this is kind of a sexy thing. I think if it's absolutely if, sexy. If a girl I was dating or something uh, did something like this, I think it would be amazing. I think it's very cool. It takes a little time and it shows that you want to get it done. You know, it's it's not like you just bought an outfit, right? And you know, spent forty bucks on an outfit and here you go. That's what I'm wearing today. So, do the viewers think that, like, you know, if there's a male viewer, especially if their girlfriend or wife or significant other went and got a body painting done and got a special photo shoot done just for them and did a little photo album, is that is that a cool gift or what? Boy, I think I would love that. Yeah. Uh, Tamara says, I want my butt painted. My friend was going to do it, but never happened. Sounds like so much fun. She's got a great ass, too, so I think that would be an awesome, fun little thing to do. We once painted a peach on a girl's ass. Um, oh, that is awesome. For a uh, Belvedere vodka promotion. It was the peach vodka, so we painted a big old peach on her booty, and uh, it was so cute. It was so How damn cool cute. She that? had a great ass, man. It was so cute. Uh, Dan says we'll peel off in one piece. No, you have to wash it off for sure. <laughs> Just wash it off. It's not latex. If we were to paint her with a liquid latex, you could peel off um, the entire thing and possibly glue it back on another time. Uh, Zach just said, uh, yo, John, I don't need acid. Your shows are trippy, dude. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for everyone watching and all the sponsors, all the all the shows. Everyone, everyone that watches this everywhere, uh, because my monitor is messed up, I haven't been able to monitor the other feeds, but I am monitoring uh, Facebook, so... Uh, with the color hair she has, it's cool to carry. Yeah, we already said that. Poison ivy. Yep. Yep. Or Ariel. <laughs> oh, yeah, Ariel. yeah. She has a green tail, uh, so. Do it. No, I won't. How cool. Oh, you know, I didn't even think of that. You can buy the bottom half tails, and how cool it would be to paint from the waist up. Oh, I, I, have, I have tails. Have tails. Oh, do you? When we actually do, um, if someone is interested, we do a painted um, mermaid top, and you get to wear our tails, and we do a whole photo shoot. That's so um, awesome. Get pictures. So that's something that everyone, anyone can message us if they're interested in doing. We actually have a mermaid shoot coming up um, here this weekend. Zach said uh, that would be literally a perfect gift for date night, and I, I agree, especially if you wore it underneath and surprised. Yep. Like, cause it, I mean, if you could wear clothes over this and yep. you wore it as a surprise, and like a jacket over yeah. it, yeah, peeking out. How and be like, cool hey. is that? You know, absolutely. If a girl did this for me uh, for a date, I might get married again. Left my <laughs> <laughs> Listen, ladies, that's a trap. <laughs> <laughs> that's so funny. <laughs> so this shading here on the bone will really kind of help the, the boning pop out. I'm going to need some light green mags. Yeah. Thank you, ma'am. I sure appreciate you, dear. I love how you come prepared with a whole suitcase with everything. Like it's yeah, just. Yeah, it's a really cool kit. If the legs pop out, so we don't need a table or anything. And uh, yeah, we just just drop the bottom out and set it up. It's quick, fast, and in a hurry. It's not messy. Works out pretty well. Now, do you do majority of this out of your out of your home? Um, we do the majority of this on call. We usually go to other people's houses um, mm -hmm. for whatever they're doing or. You know, if we do, like, parties at hotels, we'll go there. We take some private appointments at home. I have a bunch of kids, though. I also have really big, scary dogs. So unless it's someone that I kind of know a little bit and I'm confident my dog won't eat them, I generally don't bring people to the house. Um, we do Halloween appointments out in the yard with a tent. Oh, really? Um, That's yeah, great. We've done that a couple of times. We had an office down in Erie for a little while, but we... We don't anymore. So, yeah, generally, wherever people need us to go, we make it as convenient for you as possible. If you need to come to me, if you absolutely have to, you can come to me. If you want me to come to you, I will. Whatever you need, we got you. It's beautiful. And, yeah, guys, I'm going to be gorgeous. putting all these links in right the here? description once this uh, so video's over. I want to show there's over. a camera right here. You can see the boning here. There we go. And there. Really, really pretty. Pretty cool. Go ahead and turn. We're going to show them again. I know she's still working on the detail here, but you can see the dimension in the strings. I'm going to add some highlights to those rivets to really make those pop out. How are we doing on time, John? Uh, I mean, we're... Uh, go ahead, Max. Let's see where we're at. Are we killing it or are we... We got 15 minutes, but again, we oh, can nice. go over. Not bad. 
we can go over. I want to make sure we uh, we get to watch the full thing. We've got no no episode after this. It's just a replay, so we can go as long as we need. Cool. We're just going to let Maggie finish up the texture on here. I'm going to do some more highlights on the top. We pretty much have it done, though. We're just doing a simple one today. Mm -hmm. We could paint lace along the top if, if we wanted to. That takes a little bit of time. There's all kinds of details, um, and we can customize these any way anyone likes. Patty you know, wants painted to, jeans. That's kind of pretty. Hi, pa Patty. Patty wants to make sure everyone knows not to buy the dollar store paints. Yes, we did just talk about that. It is a special makeup that you have to put on um, on the skin in order to be safe. And I also own a face paint shop, so if anyone you know wants to try doing makeup on their own, I can direct you to an appropriate place to buy the FDA compliant skin safe body paints. Um, a lot of people checking in on Facebook. I love it, guys. I love it all. Um, so. Uh, what was I going to say? I'm confused now. See, I'm, you, get, you put it's the, the wrong thing. It's yeah, the boobies. Put, you um, put boobies in front of a man, and it's like, you know, it's like South Park. They're all just like grunting. Mm. Remember that episode? January uh, says you should paint uh, denim overalls over one of our uh, friends here. Oh, that'd be real cute. We've done denim paint. We've done jeans. Yeah, we haven't done overalls. That'd be cute. How long? Okay, so, I mean, being an artist is one thing. How long did it get you to the point where you, you mastered what you do as far as the body paint? This particularly, um, probably a couple of years, but I had already been face painting for a while before I started working on bodies. So I was really familiar with the texture of the materials, how to use the makeup, um, and a lot of the techniques that were needed to cause, to create like a really um, realistic effect. But I don't know, probably just when we, when we jumped into doing bodies, it probably didn't take more than a year. To what, get really good. So what's the quick cra the craziest the craziest request someone's ever uh, asked of you as far as body paint? Trouser snake. <laughs> Excuse me? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah. Unfortunately, there was a sanitation risk with yeah, that, yeah. and we weren't able to dip our brushes into the paint and then onto the yeah, trouser sure. snake and then back. So when you look back at those comments we were talking about, there was an yeah. elephant trunk comment. That's right, okay. Right. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Just... And we, we hear it all the time. We, we hear it all the time. <laughs> it's funny, so funny, but it's not original. Whoever it was. It's okay. funny, but it's not original. <laughs> uh, someone wants to know, uh, how do you cover the tattoos? Is there a specific product you use? or? Um, how do, We do, you can, she doesn't have tattoos. Well, she does have well, tattoos. Well, no, I think this is Oh, a, but if they a, have one, yeah, yeah we, they, we do. We have makeup that we can use um, to cover tattoos with, or if you're looking for makeup to cover tattoos, just go down to Ulta and get some Derma Blend. Um, it covers it right up. I've, I've a kind of working on a quarter sleeve here and I had an event with honor flight just last weekend Gorgeous. and I had this whole thing completely covered what with makeup. Derma blend. Derma blend. How great would it be if I, uh, derma blend to myself and people would be so confused. They wouldn't know what was going on. Yeah. They like, would be completely like. Once a year I shave my entire upper body for Am Jam tattoo convention. Yep. And I, I swear to you, I want to show up there with no tattoos. With no tattoos. The owner, the owner would just look at me and be like, what happened? Mm -hmm. <laughs> we'll cover you up, buddy. Give us a call. You know, you're going to need a lot of freaking derma yeah, blend yeah. though. Buy a five okay. gallon bucket. Yeah. You know. <laughs> It comes in a little stick this big. I'm not sure. We probably need a couple I'll dozen. Be there all day. <laughs> uh, just to get it out the way. Ever do of a JJ painting? <laughs> not yet. Not, not yet. yet. Um, I imagine that'd be hard to paint. I imagine it would be hard. It would. It was like, the what same would sanitary a issue butterfly too. Or, a butterfly. You, you'd have to buy. You'd have to buy one time makeup. That that'd be the issue. That, well, we could, or we could just, um, you know, use the, the the brush or the sponge and then put it in a bag and then get a fresh one, put it in a bag and then sanitize them at the end. Um, we've had requests for vajazzling. Oh yeah. Before, um, and I offered to do it with um, Prozade adhesive on them, and it, it never ended up coming to uh, like fruition. But we we chatted about it for a little while, and she I think she decided just not to to do it. But I also might have been a joke. Uh, people are funny, you know. I love Zach's comment. Zach, give these ladies credit. I got a feeling they're gonna get some wild requests after this. Listen, <laughs> oh boy, we get wild requests <laughs> often. I think it'd be really cool to do like a like a nude bridal, like a, do a bridal gown and a tux on somebody. Oh, how cool would that be? Wouldn't that be, be cool? That yeah. would be really cool. Um, or to do some kind of like tribute to like the Beatles Sgt. Pepper's uniforms would yeah. be really cool to paint on somebody. What's something you've never done that you want to do? I've talked to a couple different photographers. I want to do body paintings on four girls that represent earth, air, water, and fire. Oh, that, that is really, really cool. Really, really beautiful. Help me in. Um, with the fire. Wouldn't that be pretty? <laughs> or, or actually, water. Do all the blues oh, come yeah. crashing over? You know, mm -hmm. um, but it would be really, really cool. Um, I'd also do, like to do some kind of paint tribute to Stranger Things, which I'm currently very, very <laughs> obsessed with. Like in a way that's probably unhealthy. You know, I she she reminds me of the fifth Fifth Element. Yeah. Me you know, you know what I'm talking about? Mega babe. <laughs> 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 the girl with the red hair yep. from the fifth album. Well, you said Earth, Wind, and, and that, and that yep. was all in that movie, Rugged, too. So yep. so I've talked to, a, talked to a couple of photographers about doing that collaboration. It's just, you know, that type of work, especially for a collab, it's a lot of work. It takes a lot of time, a lot of materials. 
I mean, it takes the models and photographers a lot of time, too, so it's hard to kind of connect, get six people to open up their entire schedule for, like, five hours. And then it rains. And then it rains. You know, or God knows what else. So this is looking really good, Mag. Once you're done here, I'm going to add some more texture in, and I think she'll be ready to rock. So awesome. Yep. So do you have a website up there? I do. I have my regular website for the face paint lady for the kids' parties does link over to FPL Body Art, and it's nyfacepaintlady.com. But you can just Google FPL Body Art or even Google my name, and you'll find it like a hundred times. We're all over the place. Yeah. And again, guys, my monitors are messed up here today. I'll, I'll put all that into the links and descriptions everywhere. Uh, Lacey said, oh, my God, I love this. Did she look great? Yeah, absolutely. I think Lacey would look great with some painting. Lacey. Hit me up. We got to set this up. We're doing a, what are we doing, Jim? We're doing a, a, a billionaire I, body painting party. I, I, live the whole time on air. I think fun. that would be so much fun. Can we fun. have cocktails for that, uh, though? Obviously. Okay. We'll, we'll do it uh, on a bullshit and beer night. Cool. We'll get a, we'll get a, we'll get a, a booze sponsor for that one. Uh, yeah, we're just about done with her. Like I said, we could add lace trim to the top. We could yeah. add the trim to the bottom. We could add any great number of things um, and add more and more detail all day long, but... This is so yeah. cool. Yeah, it's a lot of fun. Oh, you bumped something. You got some paint on your oh, sweet, sweet little elbow. Oh, it, it, it's pretty easy to get off, though, right? Yeah, oh, yeah. It comes right off. Um, you know, if I were to spray water on this right now and just, like, wipe it, it would it would come right off. I know you got a little on your table. Don't panic. Look, it just comes right off. See that? Mm -hmm. Can, Go on. Let See me that? ask you a question. <laughs> can you freehand Billionaire Studios on the right and left of the corset on the bottom? You got it where I can look at it? it yeah. Just And just freehand it out. So, like, you see how the curve is goes up in there? Here BillionaireStudios.com or just Billionaire Studios. Black? I'm thinking black. Black? Yeah, let's do it. I feel like this is going to be our new cover photo for the studio page. That'll be hot. <laughs> That'll be hot. Do a little bit of shading up here, too, to make this look realistic. We'll put Billionaire Studios here and here. It'll be awesome. That is so awesome. Yeah, I'll, I'll freehand it in there. I'll try to copy your, your text font the best I can. I got pretty decent handwriting. So. Uh, ever done biomechanical type paint? What's up? Uh, ever done biomechanical body paint? No, but let's do it. Biomechanical, what, like cyborgs? What are you talking yeah, about? like you ever see the tattoos where it's like chunks oh, of flesh oh, sure. is missing yeah, yeah, and yeah, it's yeah, all yeah, piping? Yeah. And... yeah, we've done stuff like uh, mostly on faces. We did like cyborg faces. We did like a wrist and a hand once someone asked for it at a festival. Um, not nothing whole bodies though. Let's let's talk about that. That sounds kind of fun. Dan Smith says count me in. Lacey says yes. Uh, I need to do that. Zach says can't wait for tomorrow's show. 9 p.m. Uh, bullshit and bites. If you're or, I'm sorry, bullshit and beer dot com. If you're watching this live, Zach, what are you doing tomorrow? Big Mike is heading to Florida for a week. Uh, why don't you come on the show tomorrow? Also, guys, uh, the studio from Monday to Friday this week will be closed for vacation, um, except for on Wednesday we'll be doing bullshit and bites at the In and Out uh, In and Out Tavern at three o'clock. Uh, but Zach, you should come on tomorrow, man. Confirm with me. Let me know if you got time. Kind of just makes it stand off the skin a little bit. It kind of gives it a little distance, like as yeah. if real, yeah. like real clothes would. Yeah. And again, the more time we have to work, the more legit it looks. If you, you guys, guys are working super fast too, I'm yeah. very impressed on how fast you're getting. Yeah, this we're done. cranking it out because we have to. You know? Yeah. Like, like I said, depending on how much time the model has or or the the client, whatever it is they want, the more details we can put. So. You know, plan your appointment accordingly. I want to see, uh, like, I, I like the idea of the of the wedding ones. I, I think his and hers would be just so cool Wouldn't in general. That be cool, yeah. Or even if you're going to like a, a movie premiere or something, and you you did like part of your shoulders, like the superheroes, or yeah. You know, not, we did a torn uh, uh, on a woman. It was beautiful. It was a torn up like a Spider Man suit was ripped off of her body, and there were bits and pieces of the spider shredded Spider Man suit all over. It was pretty cool. Like so many people, including like I had an ex girlfriend who was gorgeous, but she was scared of tattoos because she's worried about the fact that years from now she won't want it, she'll regret it. This would have been perfect for her. She could have got it, you know. Yep. We can every... paint a tattoo because that's what they want. You know, we we can do anything. Mm -hmm. But yeah, it's something just you know temporary body art that they can have that isn't so permanent. I'm going to look at this right here, Meg. How's the back looking? Is she all textured out? Yeah. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten letters. Okay. Oh, so start with the eye. All right, let's turn this way. There we go. Better light. I'm going to record this from this end, too. Hope you guys at home are having fun. So I'm kind of quirky when I'm doing something that I want to be centered. I start in the middle. So I've noticed that. you're wondering that. why the, yeah, where the bell part is, it's, that's, that's just how I do it. That's kind of like how the old sign painters used to do it, too. Yep. It's a great technique. I'm fortunate enough in my sign business, I just hit print, and it makes it for me, yep. and then I install it. The modern way. <laughs> 
So very cool. This is definitely one of the coolest podcasts we've done uh, recently. She could have billionaire. She could had a uh, billionaire fake tattooed on her. Billionaire yeah. fake. <laughs> Uh, Lacey just inboxed me and says, I want it, I want that done. I'm telling you, we're going to set up a, a paint party here at the studio this summer. Doesn't that sound fun? It sounds like a lot of fun. I'll even get, get it done. We'll set up packages or something. We'll, we'll, fi- we'll figure this out. Loving the idea of this. That was me painting backwards just then. I'm painting the letter E backwards. So crazy. Yeah, that I can't do. Yeah, I'm a wacky individual. Man. That would bug the crap out of me. Myself, so. <laughs> a little? Just a bit. <laughs> uh, oh, cool. Zach confirmed. He's coming up tomorrow night. Guys, bullshit and beer. 9 p.m. right here at the studio page right here at Billionaire Studio, Circus, New York. Make sure you check it out. It's so cool. Yeah, not so bad. Not perfect on the, the text. As there. soon as she goes home, her boyfriend's going to be like, I love it. Take off the Billionaire Studios part now. <laughs> yeah. like, nah, Nate's pretty cool. <laughs> Nate's cool. He knows what branding is. He's, yeah, he gets it. True fact, Nate. there is nine women's, nine different women over the course of my life with my name tattooed on them. One way or another, whether it's my name John, Billionaire, Bellavia. Your kid. My and ex, you're not with any of those anymore, right? Not Here's a the thing. Once you, you get someone's women? name tattooed on you, it's over. That is a curse. I you put my wife's it. name with a heart. Stabbing with a dagger, stabbing a real life heart after we got divorced. Hmm. She's Louise. But uh, uh, one ex girlfriend's got Mr. Bellavia across her uh, back of her shoulders, 18 inches. She tried covering it up, and all it did was put, put flowers around my name. <laughs> wow. Yep. January says with the barbecue. Uh, guys, me and Big Mike and everyone else at the studio, we are going to be doing a, a barbecue in the next two months. We're setting up a date where we're going to do a studio cookout it's solely for uh, fans of the shows past guest and uh the host and you know maybe we can work it into the same event that, that could be fun uh it's a surprise january so <laughs> yeah january is a whole day event seriously maybe we'll, maybe we'll bring it we'll, we'll try to coordinate it as part of the barbecue because we did plan on uh when mike, big mike comes back we're going to set that date up that looks so dope just want to tighten this up a little over here i got a little sloppy a little sloppy it's okay it's character sloppy. Uh, Dan said, oh, come on. <laughs> Dan's trying to figure out what January would get done. I think Dan, I think Dan's got a little cute thing for January. Hmm. I think that's uh, pretty good there. It looks awesome. Uh, and then briefly, um, I know we're going to talk about having you guys on for the podcast. Why don't you explain to me uh, real quick what the other uh, charity thing that you're doing is? Oh, the Rockabettys. Rockabettys. That's a really, really cool thing that I've been doing now for about five years. We're really into the vintage, the 40s and 50s pinup style. And we go to all these different events uh, dressed in that style to raise funds for various causes around the area, mostly for veterans. Um, we spend a lot of time personally with you know, veterans at the VA hospital. We went out to Honor Flight. We do all these different uh, car show fundraisers and things to to kind of help uh, boost the way of living for our, our, our military who have served for us. So it, it was a really honor yesterday, uh, last this last weekend at Honor Flight to be able to shake the hands with the remaining World War II veterans from Central New York. But, uh, yeah. That's awesome. There we go. Voila. So cool. Yep. Uh, Zach said, what a good time to be alive. <laughs> of course, the word billionaire is longer than the word studio. So right? add so dot com. This is, yeah, there we go. This is dot asymmetrical com. and that bothers me. See? This will legit be our cover photo for the studio for like a week. That's cool. I'm, I'm totally okay with that, Hannah. <laughs> Are totally you okay with that? Do you need a model release from her or anything? I've got one. Um, You know what? Why don't you just release it to us on the air right now? Yeah. All set, Hannah. It's okay that they use this? All set. For their cover photo for their awesome studio. Consented. There you go. Awesome. We actually do have consent forms here, but they're downstairs, and I'm way too lazy. I'm... It is totally fine. <laughs> I really am not going to come fighting you. Awesome. You did a great job. I absolutely love it. Um, why don't we give all your plugs away again, how people can reach you and follow your pages. Yeah, and... it's Melody Wilkinson. It's If you look at the Face Paint Lady, I have a Facebook page, the Face Paint Lady. I have a Facebook page that's FPL Body Art and Effects, which I believe you have in the caption here. Um, and then the website is NY, like New York, facepaintlady.com. You can also check out the Rockabettys, which is our pinup group. We are always looking for pinup girls to come and work with us um, for veterans and other causes around the area. You putting so. your hair down makes it look way right? hotter all together. Right? Look at that. Could like with the it, red and the, the, the green, it looks awesome. My voice. Please. Can't. We've got 30 come seconds left. Right, come right. on. Oh. <laughs> that's awesome. Okay, that's, that's all you get. <laughs> 
Hannah, where can people find you? Uh, my Instagram is Han Marie Williams. My Twitter, Han Marie Williams. That's so. awesome. And how about you? Do you uh, put your social media out there at all? Um, my Instagram is hardcore underscore pizza. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. <laughs> um, Mag does post some of the really cool artwork that she does on there, though. She also does, she does mini paintings on canvases this big of your pet. <laughs> oh really a cool thing yeah she did one of my dog that looks just like him so that's something you might want to check out too Makes that's a good so gift. awesome <laughs> yeah i mean they're like literally this big it's it's freaky they buy a detail that's so cool you look great well Thanks. guys i want to thank you for coming on the show i'm oh, gonna be the obnoxious guy to take 550 selfies with her after this awesome I, it's, it's okay. business i swear you gotta do it it's all about the business um we got a promo yeah. we got a promo mm. i want to i want to thank everyone for watching this uh this show and make sure you like our sponsors uh once this ends i'll put all the links to everybody's uh social media all up there ends, yeah. and uh let's book you guys for the rock about let's, 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 we'll talk about that after the yeah, show because we'll i want to get you guys on and... yeah you'll love that you'll bring the girls dressed up and pin mm. up for you and that's so cool show them off yeah it'll be cool you want to go yeah all right i'll be there all right guys 9 p.m tomorrow bullshit and beer if you're watching this live we are out that was so fun that was so fun